Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome to episode 4 of the Juventus 2016 career mode. Now, last episode, a little bit complacent, I've got to say, and it's up to us to sort of hit back uh, pretty early on. We don't want to start uh, drawing a lot of games, which is, you know, we might fall into that little bit of a trap. Uh, now, we didn't play bad last episode, but, um, you yeah, know, we got a lot of things to work on, and I think Barati um, was a good signing, as well as Coutinho. Just got to wait for the team to sort of gel a little bit, I think. Now this episode, we're going to be moving up to three games. So we're taking on this side, we're taking on a Wolfsburg and Genoa or whatever. Uh, so yeah, it should, be a, it should be a pretty interesting one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to play every game in the season. At this stage, I will be. But there is a good chance we could be going on to, you know, simulating a few games here and there, depending on how we're going. Okay, for the training before, we've been using Storaro there at the CDM position. And we've got Lamina, same age, same um, overall and everything. Um... And except he's actually a CDM, so I might go ahead and give him a little bit of training. Let's see how they all go here. Three, two, one. An A for Diabala, that's quite nice. NATO performing quite well, uh, nearly going up into 81 ratings, so that's uh, quite good. Hopefully, uh, NATO can uh, can really go on with it because we need him for next year, maybe even this year, depending on uh, injuries. Okay, with there being a whole bunch of international games on at the moment, uh, there's, there's a lot of people missing, like our whole, you know, all our forwards are missing pretty much. Uh, so that gives an opportunity for Storaro to come and have a little bit of training again. Coutinho as well, we're going to try and uh, train him up for a bit better finishing when we get the chance. So let's take a look and see how they go. Three, two, one. And A for Storaro, that's pretty impressive there. He moves closer and closer to being a 78 rated. Okay, that's some uh, pretty bad news. Martin Caceres has suffered a broken rib out for three months. God damn, those international breaks are really, really annoying. Okay, first game of the episode. It's a home game taken on Chivo. Sorry for the pronunciation, guys, if this if I'm absolutely butchering it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to take a look at the lineup because we have rotated a fair few players. He'll be up in a second. You see Zaza is coming to the starting side with uh, Morata dropping out. Barati is going to be making his first start for us. He's actually his first appearance in general. Uh, Regani and Benucci, a new look back line. Obviously, Benucci played last episode, and sorry, in the last game. But um, he's mostly a second choice. But he's gone up to 84 rated. He's the same. You know, he's way younger than uh, Buzz Agley. And, you know, maybe it's... Maybe the right decision to give Benucci a bit of a go. Uh, Patrice Evra also coming into the left back position, and Kadira comes in for Pogba. And the reason for that is that we've got another game in a few days' time against Wolfsburg. It's a uh, you know Champions League game, so we do need to sort of you know pay more attention to that, considering we're supposed to be winning it. So we've got to make sure we make it through the group stages first. Okay, here we go. Uh, first game, like I said a little bit earlier, uh, a few new faces. It's going to be interesting to see how Barati goes. And that's them. We're talking about twenty million pounds. It is a pretty hefty fee for him, but I think long-term wise, it should be worth it. And there's the kickoff. Hopefully, we get a nice little game here. Flick Coutinho. Is Kadira making a nice run? Shoot! Semi Kadira goes super close there. Great start to the game. Would have been even nicer if we uh, could have picked up that early goal. Oh shit! How did he get through? Oh my god! They've blown it. The captain as well is go. Mate, yo, that fucking shit if you miss that. I still can't figure out how they actually made it through. Regani can't clear it. Come on, man. Come on, Regani. you got to be clearing those. It wasn't like it was a super... Ha, <laughs> 69. Let's move it nice and quick. Oh, Coutinho. Come on, man. you got to be better than that. Oh, there we go. Shoot. Diabella. Oh, it's a great save, but that's a pretty poor finish, to be honest. Great ball from Coutinho there. Come on, Philippe. It's a good ball. Oh, so close. Is that off us? It was off us. Great ball. Come on, Barati. Show that pace. Oh, damn. That's a hard tackle, and he's injured us too. He's injured Barati. Like, psych! Psych, Gobby. Get the fuck out of here, mate. Let's put uh, Philippe Coutinho on this one. Just cross it into the box. Go! Oh, off the post! Is it Barati or is it Zaza? I don't know who it was. Off the crossbar. Wow. With Steiner. Playing it through the middle there. Dabala taking them on. Here we go. Let's Steiner again. Coutinho! Oh my god, we missed by an absolute mile. This is why I'm trying to continue for the finishing. Uh-oh. It's an early ball. Lichsteiner up against him. 
Listana does enough to get it away initially. And the follow-up shot is well wide. And that's the first half. Barati on screen right there. Hasn't had too much to do in the first half, unfortunately. Either is really the whole side. Unfortunately, uh, but yeah, nil all it is. I'm thinking we can come away with a goal pretty early on in the second half. It's pretty important that we do so. I mean, there's, there's stats for you. It does say that, you know, the story of the game, really. We've been uh, the more dominant side. We've had a lot more shots. It's just a matter of um, finishing one, really. Oh, shit. Good work, Barati. Oh, no. Whoops. Oh, fucking hell. We got lucky we didn't give away a penalty as well, sliding in like that. Probably shouldn't do that in the future. Patrice Evra. Bang it in, son. Oh, my God. Just wide. Oh, Patrice Evra wins it. Gets it up to Coutinho. Coutinho plays it up to Zaza. Oh, no. That's not who we want to pass to. Might turn out okay. No, it doesn't. Fuck's sake. Let's get a Kadira. Fuck! Oh my god, what a save. I can't believe how easy it opened up for them. We might actually look at making a few changes pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly who to bring on though. Go on, Dybala. Takes him on. Gets it to Philippe Anderson. Plays it through to Zaza. Should be finishing this, mate. There you go. Flip Anderson, I think it was, made a great ball there. That's a fucking fantastic goal. That does change a few things in terms of uh, changes that I was going to make. I don't, really don't know who to take off anymore. Maybe uh, Diabella give him a bit of a rest before uh, the Champions League game and just try and hold on for the win. Okay, I've decided to uh, bring off Coutinho and bring off uh, Diabala, bring on Morata, a striker, and uh, bring on Pereira at the cam position. Now, I might be thinking, why are you bringing on Morata when you got the Champions League game in a few days? And basically, fitness, it won't be an issue for a few days. They're going to be playing half an hour. So, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's a great ball. Oh, Morata was through. Zaza did so well up until the last pass. Good work from Semi Kadira there. Plays it early. Come on, Zaza. Oh, so close. Gets taken out in the box, too. Oh, that's opened up perfectly for us. Zaza should be able to finish this one, and he does so. That's his second goal of the game. It's a brilliant performance from Zaza, really. It was a nice little ball there from... Uh, I'm not sure who it was exactly. Was it a Ferreira? I think it was Ferreira in the middle there. I would assume it would be Ferreira anyways. Murata plays it off to Ferrari, plays it through to Zaza, the number seven, finishes it. It's actually a really nice finish. Both of them being outside of foot shots, be really nice. Oh, it's tipped on for Barati, that's perfectly, perfectly executed. Barati cuts back inside. Oh, it's opening up. Oh, it's just tackled off him. So unlucky there. The kid nearly got his first goal for us. Or at least created an opportunity for us anyways. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't what we want. The pressure's on now, which is really, really annoying. Very, very annoying, actually. Costly turnover there, Flip Anderson. And just, why were my back so exposed? Oh, it's Zaza for again. Finish it. Oh, can't slip it under the keeper. He would have completed his hat-trick as well as just seal up the game there. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, ninth minutes up, three minutes extra time. I think we should uh, just hold on to it. There we go, that's game over. That uh, Those three minutes went very, very quickly, i got to say. However, a 2-1 victory, I think it's well-deserved. Um, I don't think they really deserved to score that goal at the end there. They didn't really have many chances, apart from that, you know, the one chance that they scored from. However, I mean, you make the most of it, and that's what they did. Uh, but yeah, 2-1. If we can get a little bit more cl clinical, we could have easily blown that out to uh, three or four goals. Uh, but yeah, Zaza did a great job that game, and he basically got us to win. Zaza's come to us and said, it's great that I'm getting so much time on the pitch. Cheers, boss. No worries. Yeah, actually performing quite well, so uh, no problems. Okay, some more training. Bringing back in Nato and Berardi this time. Berardi with the beat your man, trying to get his dribbling up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, 2-1, go. Anderson performing pretty well there. 
The only one of note to sort of go up a little bit. Potential international management jobs. Ecuador and Bolivia. Uh, no thanks, mate. I'm not really interested in coaching uh, Bolivia. Okay, second game of the episode. Taking on Wolfsburg in our first Champions League game. Uh, we really got to get off to a flying start here in the Champions League. I think it's essential that we win this one. Uh, you can see the team lineup. They're pretty much going with one of our strongest lineups. Um, only question marks, maybe Barzagli, not in great form. Quadrado, same goes to him. You could argue uh, that our new signings and um, Benucci and that could, uh, you know, are the better players than them. But ratings-wise, pretty much our stronger side. Okay, here we go. Taking on Wolfsburg, the German team, up against the Italian team. I fancy ourselves here. Okay, here's our team lineup. We saw it briefly before. On the bench there, you can see Barati and that sort of stuff there. Ever another one. Uh, also, I should mention fitness-wise, all pretty much rearing to go. Flip and send a little bit tired, not much. Same goes for Tino, but the rest all full fitness. All right, taking a look at the Wolfsburg lineup. Haven't really seen too much of them. Rodriguez, I know, is a great player. Would love to have him at the team. Uh, a little bit of weird formation there with uh, Max Cruz, Arnold as well, Draxler. Uh, a lot different side with, uh, with no Kevin De Bruyne, but... Uh, yeah, we still got to, you know, not take them lightly. All right, we really need to give away that foul. That was some atrocious defending right there. Oh, Flip Anderson, acres of space here. Cut back inside, does really well. I see that run by Coutinho. I can't get the ball to him. Oh, for fuck's sake, Sandro, do something. Oh, my God, that's a brilliant save there. Buffon saving us. Barzagli manhandles him, ragdolls him. Coutinho takes him on. Plays back to Quadrado. There's Pogba. Come on, Anderson. Bit of space here. Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! What are you doing? Pogba, taking it into his own hands, can't shoot. How the fuck was that not a penalty? This is a really long uh, passage of play here, but might be what we need. Oh, for fuck's sake! Pass it to him! Fuck's sake, that's such a shit half. So frustrating as well. I feel like I've got no room to work with against uh, against this Wolfback side. I know they're a good side, but... Mate, I can't do anything. Alright, no changes for the second half. Let's just roll with what we've got. Hopefully, uh, something can uh, you know, pull a rabbit out of the hat and get a quick goal here. There we go. That's a good ball. Down there to Philippe Anderson. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Usually, I'd just shoot, but I was like, better look for a cut back here. There's the Pogba. Bangs it in. Oh, damn. I thought it was in. I keep waiting for Pogba to keep making that run, and it just never happens. Okay, we're going to make one sub. We're going to bring on Berardi for Quadrado at the moment. Quadrado just hasn't done anything. So, uh, I think Berardi, give him another chance. So much concentration for myself at the moment. Oh, God. Fuck! Just as I uh, have a little brag about how much concentration I'm having right now, they actually uh, score a goal. There's a sick crossbar. That's a perfect cross. It doesn't get any better than that. It just makes things worse because they're already playing super defensive, just looking for a counter-attack. And, you know, now they've got their goal so they can really sit back now. Here you go. This should be it. Murata can't get to it, you bastard. Fuck's sake! Fucking hell! And there we have it, a 1-0 loss. So, uh, Wolfsburg, just what we needed. Start off our Champions League campaign. That's fucking an atrocious game, man. Okay, so uh, going into this last game, I am very, very disappointed about losing the last game. Uh, it's, but there's nothing I can do about it now, apart from just move on with it. I'm going to run with a full-strength squad for this game. However, for next episode, you see we've got a pretty congested you know, bunch of fixtures, which is uh, quite annoying, to be honest. Um, but we're taking on you know these two sides Napoli as well a huge game So what we're gonna do is go full strength to Noah for which is the game that you're gonna see right now against this side Go, um, you know bit of a rotated squad and then Napoli full strength again and Club Bruges We should be able to beat them um, With a bit of a rotated squad as well. So that's my thought process in this Oh, yeah, when I say full strength lineup, I mean Benucci 
And I mean Barati at the moment. Still not, I'm still not sure on Barati, but he's going to be the one playing this game anyways. Okay, traveling to Genoa, wherever that is in Italy. I have no idea. Uh, they have an England flag at the top, which is something I've just noticed. Whether that actually is the intended thing, I don't know. But uh, that's interesting. Okay, looking at their lineup, I recognize Perrin. Uh, maybe Capel, I think his name is. Cersei, Suso. I'm very familiar with Suso. Three at the back, though. Uh, I have a feeling they've got to set up quite defensive, though, which could be uh, quite bad for us. Coutinho really needs to step up. He's done absolutely nothing. We signed him for a huge fee, 35 million. He really needs to do a lot more than what he has been. There we go, one twoing it. It's a big touch, but it's worked out okay. Come on, Coutinho! Finish it! There we go, 1 0, 7 minutes in. Coutinho, just the man I was talking about. It's really Dybala doing a lot of the work there, but I'm um, just so happy to get in the lead, really. That's very relieving. First goal in Serie A. Monkey's off his back now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was trying to get it away. Fuck. Oh, my God, Alexandro, you beast. This is some nice play here. This is some real nice play. Shoot. Anderson straight at the fucking keeper. What a weak shot. Coutinho doing some work there. That's some great work from Coutinho. Nothing opening up there. There we go, Pogba. Shoot! Oh my god, they've brought us down. And it's no foul. That's unlucky. Had I recognised it like half a second earlier, we could have got a nice shot away there, I reckon. It's a good work there. He's onside. Fleet Anderson crosses it in. Oh, damn. Dybala gets smashed by the keeper. Current attacks on. Dybala. Plays it through. Back to Dybala. Through the middle. Go, Dybala. It's off the... Oh, fucking hell. There's a deflection. Probably would have missed anyways. Oh, he's taking him out. How the fuck... Alright, good. I was like, how the fuck was that not a foul? I'm like, get out, mate. Benucci. Coutinho. Shoots. Oh, my God. So close. So close. Could have been 2 0. Anyways, that's half time. 1 0 is what the scoreline is. As you can see on the screen currently, all over them, really, in every single stat. More of the same, please, in the second half, and that should ensure us a pretty nice victory here. Let's try and get Barati more involved. This is a nice start. It's a foul. There we go. That's a nice start there from Barati. Oh, that's a good ball. Dybala. Get to it. Get to it, Dybala. Just dive at it. Slide at it. Whatever. Here we go, Dybala. Over the top. That's a great ball, Murata. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. I was like, oh, man, they're going to slide in. Just got to try and avoid it. And I freaking get caught, caught by it. That's shit. Okay, making a few changes. Obviously, the cam in uh, CDM. Nice and fresh. That's Pereira coming on for Coutinho. Kadira coming on for Philippe Anderson. Pogba moving to the left uh, midfield position. Basically, I'm just trying to shore up this defense a little bit. And also give her players uh, a little bit of a rest before the next game. It's a good run. Murata should finish this one. And that's a great save. Perrin, fucking hell. He's having a blinder. Mate, they can just hold on to it as much as they want here. Good work from Alexandro. No sweat. All uh, calm, cool, collected at the back there. Oh, that's not the pass we want. Alexandro coming in big the last few minutes. Oh, Kadira. Shoot! How did you miss? Murata, you fucker. Wasn't he supposed to go to him anyways? He's offside. But he actually was supposed to go to um, Barati on the right wing. Oh, well, see, here comes my space Barati's in. But Murata's making a run in offside position. So, obviously, it's going to find him. Come on, Murata, for fuck's sake. What are you even doing this side? You don't score goals. Murata taking them on. And, of course, Murata loses it because he's got no pace. I'm so fucking sick of Murata, man. Thank God we got that win. I'd say we got away with that one, but, I mean, look at the stats. They speak for himself. We didn't really get away with it. Uh, we absolutely dominated that one. It would have been unlucky had they scored at the end.
Okay, so after that game, that leaves us in first spot by itself there, Napoli in second. Finally enough, we're going to be taking on Napoli in the next episode. And speaking of episodes, uh, that is where this episode is going to end. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, face the page description below, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.